Lindsey Buckingham announces a 2020 solo tour. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Just hanging out in the living room today, just interviewed Caleb Quayle, Elton John's original guitarist. He came back for Rock of the Westies and Blue Moves, and he's just released a brand new documentary. More on that in just a little bit. But Lindsey Buckingham! I'm just reading this off Rolling Stone magazine. It's a 12-day tour. Kicks off April 25th at the Smith Center in Las Vegas. Wraps up May 13th at Magnolia Performing Center in California. As we all know, Lindsey Buckingham suffered a heart attack in February of 2019, and, and everyone was wondering the shape of his voice because of the cords going down his throat. Originally, there was vocal cord damage on some semblance. Whether it was temporary or not, looks like it was, because he wouldn't be going out on tour unless the guy could sing, and they would have to announce the fact that he can't sing. They wouldn't be giving us these tour dates if he couldn't sing. Of course, he's been kicked out of Fleetwood Mac, Mick Fleetwood recently said that he would never come back. I'm paraphrasing here. But there's a tour. There's so many reasons to see Lindsey Buckingham. I mean, there's so many. First of all, we almost lost him. And that's the case for a lot of artists of that age group. I just turned 60. I'm watching the clock myself. But the old saying of saying, oh, I'll see that guy maybe next time around. You, you can't say that anymore. And if you've ever seen Lindsey Buckingham perform Big Love solo, which artistically I think is an almost impossible thing for most guitarists on earth to do that, at least on that level, I would go just to see that. In concert, he performed some Fleetwood Mac songs and some solo tunes as well. I don't care what anybody says, he was the backbone of that band since the White Album was released in 1975. Of course, Rumors was released a couple of years later. I'm so happy he's back on the road. I will try to travel to go see him. Again, we'll have the tour dates in the description of this video. No green screen today, just hanging out in the living room. And as mentioned, I just interviewed Caleb Quay this morning. We talked about a lot of the guitar parts that he had starting way back to Empty Sky with Elton John. And then the Elton John album, uh, Tumbleweed Connection, Mad Men Across the Water. That was his last one. Then David Johnston basically took over as guitarist. He came back for Rock of the Westies and Blue Moves and has a brand new documentary, Louder Than Rock, which is based uh, on the book that he wrote a few years before. So we talked about Rocket Man and a whole bunch of things, and I'll try to get part one out today. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music.